We have been showing you just the most heartbreaking images of people's homes, their livelihoods being destroyed. But I want to show you, it's also Florida's beautiful landscape that we love. If you take a look at this, this is a root a tree right here and honestly this is truly unbelievable this image you can see this is the dirt all the way around here it has to be at least 10 feet high but as you go around you can see that these roots completely rip from the ground in the entire landscape but I can't express how giant this tree is that was pushed over from the strength of Hurricane Ian. Just take a look at this, how easily it was just pushed down to the ground. And to give you an idea, you know, I'm about five foot three. So this tree is gigantic. It's double me, but it shows you right here how it was just lifted off the ground. And this is the roots to the trees. I've seen so many people stopping by and taking photos. It truly is an unbelievable sight that that is just how powerful Hurricane Ian is. You know, when I responded um, after uh, Hurricane Irma went down to the Florida Keys, I have never seen a tree just ripped up and pushed over like this one. I want to show you just uh, one good thing happening right now in our community. Uh, some chaplains just arrived uh, from kind of the Orlando area. They have set up here and they are starting to feed people some warm meals in this area. There was a line of people just a short time ago. They have donations that have come in. So it's that uh, neighbor helping neighbor, but just not locally across Florida as we are starting to see more crews uh, coming in from across the state and even across the nation. Some people driving up from Michigan, arriving today, dropping off generators because this area, we're on day eight now, still without power. But this tree, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of uh, just the heartbreaking images, not just of the houses, but Florida's landscape, you know, uh, it's going to take a lot to start to chop this tree down in a lot of time. So we're live out here tonight and we're going to continue to bring mm. you images just from different areas around this community. Mm. We're live in the Fort Myers area. Nicole Gregg for Fox 4.